Hi everyone, I'm Brad Cordova, one of the founders and the CTO of True Motion. It was at my time at MIT studying my PhD that I really discovered the power of machine learning. Some people have even said machine learning is the next electricity. Since the beginning of the company four years ago, uh, machine learning and data science has been at our core. And so one of our first external challenges was to help Progressive convert their already wildly successful UBI program, which was based on the OBD device. We wanted to convert that to mobile. When we were analyzing this problem and thinking about how we were gonna attack it, we learned a few things. The most important being that the skills and technologies we had developed up to that point we're gonna be able to carry over in solving this problem. The data that comes off the mobile phones is extremely noisy, and so we had spent a lot of time developing sensor processing techniques and, and common filtering to tackle that. The second big thing was driver identification. This is identifying the driver versus the passenger, and this turned out to be very fundamental to our solution in the end. So as you know, the OBD device is fixed to the car, whereas the mobile phone can move throughout the car. And so if you're calculating brakes and you're correlating to that to risk, you wanna know actually when they're driving and, and not when they're the passenger. It was after a year and a half of pretty rigorous evaluations competing against 11 other teams that Progressive chose us as their unique mobile provider. So we learned a lot of things through this one and a half year pretty rigorous evaluation. For example, we realized that battery life is very important. You can have a very accurate solution, but if it drains the battery, people aren't gonna wanna use your solution. We learned a lot about calculating vehicle dynamics of distinguishing a turn versus a brake versus an acceleration. And it turned out when thinking about crash detection that the signal that looks most similar to crashes is actually brakes. And so it's one of the most important signals to filter out when solving the crash problem. It turned out that a lot of the stuff we already developed for driver IDEN for brake matching against the OBD could be applied to crash. And this was very exciting for me. One thing, for example, that turned out to be important was knowing where the phone was located at in the car. If the phone's in your pocket or the phone mount, and a vehicle gets in a crash, the signal can look very different. If it's on the seat, it's gonna fly through the air and twist a lot, whereas if it's in your pocket, it's gonna have a very different signal. We had already developed this technology to high accuracy. So at the end of this evaluation, we actually came to the conclusion that if we could get enough data, enough realistic crash data, then we could cast this into another machine learning problem and we can solve it. We actually got way more data than we were expecting, about an order of magnitude more data. All this stuff I just talked about was very fundamental to solving um, crash detection on the mobile phone.